Hey YouTube, West Coast Prepper RN here. I know I sound like a frog. I'm still sick. It actually, I'm actually more sick now than I was. It kind of settled in my chest, so it's really me. <laughs> um, so today, um, I had some time, so I thought I'd go ahead and do some of these potatoes. I'm gonna use my here's my new dehydrator. Yes, I got the white one. Um, I'm a little partial to white. I don't know. It's my anal retentive side. White equals clean. I don't know. <laughs> I was a little bummed it came with a black door. But anyway, I got my, got my uh, handy dandy Excalibur. Got these all washed up and ready to go. So what I'm doing right now is I, I busted out my slicer that I got for Christmas. You can see I've done potatoes here. Man, is this thing slick. Uh, if you don't have one, I highly recommend it. I have no idea how much they cost. It was a gift from my mother and my father for Christmas. Uh, but man, it made, it made quick work of these spuds. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, um, I have these just, uh, between an eighth and a quarter. Um, I, you know, I, I didn't want them too thick. I didn't want them too thin. So it's a, it's a nice, they're a nice size. So what I'm doing is in my dehydrating book, it said to steam blanch them. So I got the double boiler out and put my steam basket in it. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and dump this one. Ooh, sorry. Kind of loud. Um, we're just going to get these spuds in here. And I'm just going to, I'm just kind of, you know, because spuds are, you know, potatoes are kind of, they stick together. So I'm just going to kind of toss them around. and Because when they're sliced, they're all uniform and they just stick right back where you sliced them so this is what I'm going to do and it said to uh it said to steam blanch them for four to six minutes um and you know they don't get near as cooked as if you were boiling them um they do I'll show you <coughs> excuse me <coughs> man I hate being sick I'll show you these other ones that just came out so um this cold I have or whatever <coughs> I have a tickle in my throat all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, mercy. So I'm just going to put the rest of these in here. It's kind of hard working one-handed. <coughs> oh, holy Hannah. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> so we're going to put these in here. This bad boy got hot. All right. Yikes, it's hot. All right, I'm going to set my little timer here. I have these set for five, but by the time I get them out, it's more like six. So from there, they go into a cool to cold, you know, cold water to, to take the heat back out of them. And as you can see, they're, they're pretty translucent. There's my, my finger behind it. Man, I'm going to have to go get a cough drop or something. <laughs> anyway, so I just got them in here to cool off. And then they're going in here. Oops. And then I'm going to just kind of pat them on some... I'm going to pat them on some... Uh, <coughs> paper towels. <coughs> and dry them off a little bit. And then I'll put them on the dehydrator. And I will come back and show you when I get my dehydrator loaded... And we'll go from there. This is the first time I've ever done these, so I hope they're going to turn out right because I would certainly hate to uh, think that I'm wasting 50 pounds of potatoes. Um, I'm still waiting for my little uh, Vidalia, Vidalia, Vidalia chopper thing, my little chop wizard. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm still waiting for that so I can do some diced. But I am going to bust out the uh, food processor and uh, put my shredder attachment on it. And uh, I'm going to shred up a bunch of these for um, for some, uh, some hash browns. So we'll see if we can dehydrate some hash browns too. These I'm going to use for uh, scallop potatoes and, and whatever else, you know, whatever else. Maybe I'll rehydrate them and... 
I don't know. We'll see. I'm just experimenting. That's what you do when you have an excess of spuds. <laughs> but they were free, and I don't want them to go to waste. They were a gift from my husband's work. Uh, some of the farmers at work gave these to us. So they do every year. So every year I have an abundance of spuds right around Christmas time. <clears throat> so anyway, I'll be back. See you later. Hey YouTube, I'm back. Okay, so I'm. this was the eighth tray and this is the ninth tray. Yay. Okay, so this ended up being, <coughs> excuse me. And I just love being sick. Uh, this ended up being, let's see, I started with... 12, 14. This was 16. I think 16. Pretty good size. Um, sorry. Pretty good size russet potatoes. And we are going to see how this works out. Let's see here. <laughs> How many preppers does it take to plug in a <laughs> dehydrator? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so it says to go for the 125. Hey, we have power. So there we are. I'm gonna go. I don't know if you go. Let's see. The thing stops right here, so I don't know. I guess 125 is right at the 125 mark. So anyway, all right, you guys, I've got nine trays of potatoes going in the dehydrator. So uh, I guess we'll see in, uh, what was it, like four to 10 hours or something, or six to 10 or something like that. And I gotta clean up my kitchen <laughs> from the little mess I made. Um, for our, all those of you who don't think my kitchen gets messy, you are sadly mistaken. It takes great effort to keep my kitchen clean. So now I must clean my mess and figure out how to get the blade off of this thing because there's, yeah, good job. Hit the button with my finger. There's a little, um, well, it, I don't know, a little slot that isn't big enough for like, a, it's, it's dented. So I think I'm going to have to use a quarter or something. So, because they didn't send a little tool with this for some reason to, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> to get into it. So now I got to tear it apart and clean it because it's all starchy. <coughs> Sorry about this, you guys. I just, I, I'm trying to get over this muck, this crud. And uh, if you, I don't know if you can see out my window here. It is just nasty pouring we're having well they were supposed to have sustained winds <coughs> they had her <coughs> excuse me goodness gracious they had hurricane force winds at the coast um yesterday and we were we had some pretty good winds last night <coughs> As a matter of fact i'm looking out by our pond and i can see some branches that are hanging so we had some pretty good uh gusts going last night so we'll see what today brings I'm just going to stay in the house and dehydrate potatoes and maybe take a little nap. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Hey, YouTube. I'm back, and it is about eight hours later, and here's my potatoes. They came out beautiful. Nice and crispy and nice and dehydrated, and I, I'm really happy. I started putting them in a big jar. I've got a big... Uh, this is a half gallon. I'm going to fill these up and and um, vacuum seal them and put them away. And I think tomorrow maybe I'm going to try some uh, some shredded hash brown type. I, I will tell you this. Um, there are a few in here that look like this. Now, what this is is a little tiny spot in the middle where the blanching didn't cook the potato. Um, so wherever... Um, wherever the the blanching didn't cook it and stop that process or whatever you know get the starches out of there it did turn brown let's see if I can get my camera to focus my camera doesn't focus very well um, so anyway I mean there's plenty of potato here that's salvageable so I'll probably just you know crack that part off and you know crack this part off whatever I'm not super worried about it so um, 
I did learn my lesson on that. I don't know if they probably would have um, blanched better if I had boiled them, but the, the book that I got um, with the dehydrator recommended um, steam blanching. So that's what I did, and they just, they came out nice and, you know, nice and they're like the perfect thickness, and they dehydrated nice, and they're all crispy, and I'm super happy with my first little attempt. I love this, uh, this Excalibur. I can tell you that this Excalibur is much quieter um, than my other one, <laughs> much quieter. Um, so I am just super, super thrilled with this machine. So, ooh, I see lots of dehydrating in my future, so. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put these away, and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Talk to you later. Keep your powder dry.